some phrases that you often hear, soda straws, stalagmites. What are some of the uh, most popular uh, terms and formations that you hear about and that you should learn about prior to coming here? Well, the two basic ones are the stalagmites and the stalactites. So the stalagmites are the mighty mountains that grow on the ground. The stalactites are the ones that hang tight to the ceiling. We also have draperies, so those are the ones that kind of look like a curtain, um, and they're going to be nice and wavy. Those are formed, uh, they're all formed from dripping water. So the stalagmites and stalactites are very simple. Water is dripping straight down, creating a pile on the ground, or a pile on the ceiling, or both, and then when they connect, it's a column. Draperies are a little bit different. Uh, You'll have a sloped ceiling, and if you've ever washed your hands and held your hands up like this, water will run down towards your elbow. Uh, if you don't dry your hands, it's the same concept as running along a sloped ceiling held on by surface tension, leaving behind a small trace of calcite. You also have soda straws, and those are interesting because it's a drip of water. It's dripping in the exact same spot every time. And so you'll have the circle on the outside of that drip of water forming from calcite, and then that water drips. The next drop of water will go down, create another ring, and it'll create a hollow formation. Um, other formations we have in the cave are helictites which we think those are formed by water pressure, but we're not entirely certain yet. Um, and they'll kind of just go every which way. They look really um, ridiculous. And then we also have flowstone, which looks like it's really nice and soft rock. It's still just a rock. It's still pretty solid, um, <laughs> but it's just caused by a water flowing over a surface and leaving behind calcium. And how about sponge work that looks like Swiss cheese uh, inside of the caverns? So that's not actually a formation. That is the beginning of the cave. Um, So if you see sponge work, it is an area where the sulfuric acid started carving out uh, little holes. And so if the sulfuric acid had stayed there, all those holes would have connected and turned into a big cavern. Um, And then uh, luckily for us, so we can see it, there's not a lot of dripping water that has reached those areas and hasn't um, built formations over it. And are these processes still occurring? Is groundwater still seeping down and and creating these um, stalagmites and stalactites? They are probably a little bit slower than they were a few million years ago. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but we are in a desert, so (laughs) not a lot of rain. We get about 10 inches on average um, because this is a wet desert, believe it or not. Um, And so all of that will seep through the ground and eventually start dripping. It takes months to years for that water to get to the cave, depending on which part of the cave you're in. If you're closer to the surface, it takes less time. If you're 750 feet down, it's going to take a little longer. Um, But that water is still dripping, and it's going to keep dripping as long as water keeps falling on the surface.